Hello everybody, uh, today we have a special treat and man, what a treat it is for me to, to film and I hope it will be a, a treat for you to see. Now please ignore the blue wonder over there, that, that's embarrassing compared to this one, but that's what I'm driving, but that's not even the point. I had one of my viewers reach out to me a few, actually about a month ago and we tried to meet up a few times and today is the day that I get to witness and experience the awesomeness of this 97 Lincoln Town Car. And it's not just any old Lincoln Town Car, it's in great shape and it's the Cartier. It's the, the top of the line, it's a 97, so it's the last year of this particular body style. And man, look at this color, look at this shape, and then we'll go, we'll go in the details. Uh, but you just don't see cars like this. And we were just talking, and uh, you know, we're talking about, I mean, this is a collector's car, and the, uh, he mentioned that, yeah, next year it'll be a 25 year, so ultimately it will be a town car uh, that's a collector's. And look at this, everything from like any, any of the chrome, I mean, it's still it's still here, not bubbling. Look, on my car, and we were talking about it also, my car is much newer, but it's much more shape than it is. No water damage. I got in my Lincoln Star some, some water that I'll probably address at some point. Uh, paint is great. Uh, no visible rust, which I'm assuming there isn't any un underneath either. I've never been okay, never been underneath, but uh, if there is any, it's probably minimal at best. Also, check this out. So I made a video about me putty putting um, flex seal on my tire uh, on my rims. Look at this; it's not even. There's a few things here and there, but I mean, compared to uh, what I've experienced and what a lot of you who have like the last generation town car, which is the most popular one that I film. Uh, I mean, this is nothing. And I sometimes find, you know, even like this, like, I mean, this is technically on the newer, on the newer ones, this is not metal, it's plastic, but even that figures out a way how to corrode itself, which I don't understand how is that even possible. Oh yeah. You got also stars galore, stars there, there, you got town car. It's wonderful to see how the older stuff has more bling, you know? You would, you would associate, you know, the modern stuff is all blinged out, but no, this is the proper way to do bling. And it's tasteful. And it looks awesome. It sounds, I mean, it sounds like a new car. You, you won't find any, like, rattles or weird noises. AC works. You can see the condensation on the floor. Uh, let's see. Man. I don't even know where to... Where to begin. Yep. A lot of times, like I went on a junkyard, a lot of these are gone because I'm guessing you can't really find in that particular size <laughs> anymore. Let's see, is this uh, painted painted on stripe? A lot of them are, are taped on later on. So painted factory stripe, I'm assuming. Yep, Cartier right in there. Oh, glare. There you go. So in the last year, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the light bar does not light up, right? That was only in the beginning of the few years that they had, the 95? The early 97s still uh -huh. had the light bar. Okay. Um, but you had to get one that was made early in 97. Okay, yeah. I gotcha. They stopped doing it at that, yeah. Yeah, all the, co the cost cutting. Yeah. The cost cutting, look, even got the original probably from when it was new with a different star, you see? <laughs> that's interesting. So that's an old school star that they got from before. All right, do you mind if we open the trunk? Oh, yeah. All right, let's quickly do it. Oh, the keypad is in great shape. And this is the era where they actually labeled these buttons. Later on, they didn't bother even putting any kind of label. All right, so obviously, you know, you can ignore the stuff that's in the trunk, but holy crap. Original spare. Original spare, okay. Yep. Okay, air ride suspension works. Uh, what's in there? Six-disc CD charger. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, here. There you go. You don't see that very often, especially those if they work. It does work. It does work. Even better. All right, the fuel shut off there. The fuel shut off is right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Air suspension. Air yeah, suspension. I'm sorry. Uh, and then this is the, the pole. Yep, never mind. Okay, on my, on mine is actually on this side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming, I mean, this is the question, I'm assuming the, the pull-down? Yep, there you go, works itself back. All right, so, before we go inside, let's pop the hood and 
then we'll see where it goes. Now it's interesting to see all the years. This this panel is like the same. <laughs> the pole is exactly the same. Doesn't matter which which year you have. Oh God, why am I? I'm, I'm trying to be careful with this thing, and then in, in the process, I'm appearing very weak, which I probably am. Okay. So the owner tells me that the last year of, uh, of this model um, or of this generation didn't have the cover there, so he got it out of a different one and put it on. But look, everything is nice and clean and tidy. And, and this is one of those stories where an older person had it, the husband passed, uh, the spouse kept it, and then when the spouse couldn't, you know, couldn't use the car anymore, ended up selling it. Even look at this lining. That's still... That's still great. Yep, once again, AC is working right there. All right. And, yep, super quiet. All right, let's see. There you go. And you got the star here once again. All right. All right, we're not going to go on a drive yet. And I'll probably, you know, if, if you don't mind at, at the end, though, as I'll probably sit in the back if you want to do just a lap. Sure. I mean, that would be awesome. Yeah. But we will go inside. So check this out, guys. So, burgundy color. Now, I don't know what this color is called. Let's just call it red. I'm sure it has a fancier name than this. You can look on the window sticker. Oh, there is a window sticker. Absolutely. Thank you. So check this out. This is not even worn out. Like, how is that even possible? <laughs> This was loose. Uh huh. I did pop these off and I retightened it. Yeah. But that was the only one that. Stayed. But the finish, the little Cartier that usually gets wiped off the face of the earth, yeah. <laughs> that's that's still there. So I think in this generation, the Cartiers are the only ones that had the heated seats. I think the rest of them just. I mean, all the controls were the same. You would get the the memory feature, but I think the Cartiers were the only one with the heated seats. I'm assuming they were. I don't know. They're five level. Uh huh. The back or the back uh -huh. the bottom. Okay. I gotcha. Yep. And you know, I am noticing this too. You know, I'm comparing it to my 06. Even like the fit, the quality is better here. Because on, on the last generation, this all creaks. Now, it creaked from when the cars were brand new. Because I used to be in the car rental business. Yeah. I, I used to manage it. These used to creak like we would get them off the truck. And that's just how they were. Yeah. These do not. So, they obviously did something right back then. All the controls with the chrome memory, the the seats. So they didn't have the controls here, but they did have them here, which well, is where they belong. The seat controls uh -huh. are on the door, and then they have additional seat yep. controls down there. So is this your lumbar? Although here they didn't label them, but I'm assuming it's the lumbar and the recline. One's a lumbar, and one's like tilts the seat. Yeah. Back okay. And forth or I got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah. Four. So it's interesting how they have the little Ford, Ford. thing here, and then they have the Lincoln here. All right. All right, let's dive in here. So seats, so the owner does uh, tell me that this was repaired. I guess the previous owner had a dog or something that kind of tore it up just a little bit, but there's a technique to use to kind of get it kind of sort of back to its color. All right, you got the Cartier Swesh Lincoln symbol. Let's see, all right, I'm gonna dive in. Oh, oh man. Well, these seats are comfy, I tell you that much. All right, so so it's weird that this generation, especially on the Cartier, didn't have the wood the wood trim anywhere on the steering wheel. And there's definitely like a little cutouts that can be used for it, but for whatever reason, they decided not to go with it. So digital dash. All right, temperature, compass, fuel, only 60,000 miles. Unbelievable. Average app, and obviously you have the controls here to select. Um, Steering adjustment, so high and low for the sensitivity. All right, throw the lamp. See how, like, I was also saying how this panel, like, no matter which year of a town yeah. car you are, it's just exactly the same. Like, yeah. it, so they've used exactly the same parts. Yep, love the steering wheel with all the multifunction features, which they've deleted going forward. I don't know why. All right, the clock. So I think all of them got the clock. I don't think the Cartiers in this generation had any different clock, but I know in the, in the next one, they put a gold clock in the middle, but this is still awesome, like right here, all the original stuff. 
and you even got the JBL Winken defrost. Okay, climate control still they've used to the very end on a Crown Vic, so that's it. Just it's automatic. <laughs> yep. As well. mm -hmm. But I mean, like this whole panel, like you pick yeah. any any Crown Victoria, yeah. uh, and it's it was the same thing. If it wasn't manual, it was like this. Yeah. And then here you had cup holders. Yeah. Doesn't smell like smoke, so I can only assume yeah, it was smoke never smoked. Cigarette lighters never yeah. been used. Yep. It works. I tested it. Okay. Let's see, factory sunroof. So even, a, I believe, even on the Cartier's, they were optional. And I think we do have a, a folder, which is actually color match, and we'll, we'll look at a window sticker. It's really cool. Now, I, I've mentioned this several times. The aftermarket one, I mean, even the factory ones leak. I mean, I have a factory one on mine. It, it did leak. Uh, any, anyone who puts an aftermarket one, they're, they're asking for it to leak, basically, at this point. Oh. God. Now, also another cool thing, somewhere in here, oh nope, not this one. This one does have, which has been disconnected, but look at this. I wonder if like the newer generation, like if they if they see this, like are they even gonna know it's a phone? Or are they gonna think it's a calculator? Uh, okay, so there's that. All right, yeah, everything is, is amazing. So let's just quickly take a look here. I just wanna maybe show the, the window sticker because that's the coolest part but look at this guys all the all the records probably from the time they were the car was new is still there all right let's see maybe i don't even unless i can see it yeah we can see it this way i'm afraid it's gonna fly away if we take it out of its thing all right so what do we have 97 whoops cartier four-door here exterior cordovan clear coat metallic and then the cordovan leather seating surfaces okay so cordovan so this is cordovan all right standard 43 to power moonroof oh my god fifteen hundred dollars so you, you still had to pay options uh on a moonroof spare tire the cellular phone was six hundred ninety dollars i mean that's expensive even today for <laughs> for a phone <laughs> A trunk mounted CD changer was optional. Ride control package. Right control package. What is that even? It's a hundred bucks. I think it's something Very with strange. the sway bar. I don't know. Something with the suspension, yeah. I think. But it's not air ride because air ride was standard. I'm guessing. Correct. Right. Yeah. So, okay. So look at this. Destination. The grand total. Yep. Yeah. 47,210. I mean, it is expensive. Obviously, it's more like what? Probably 65,000, maybe 70,000 in modern equivalent uh, yeah probably but what a car i mean considering that an equivalent mercedes would run you probably 90 yeah all right now we're not going to go through everything but obviously anybody who takes the time you know to organize everything and file everything away i mean you know you're getting a good car all right so i will surrender this if you don't mind if i don't take too much more of your time i mean i would love to have an opportunity to just ride in the back it's i'll, I'll go on the other side Oh, and they still had the, uh, these handles, which I think on some later models were discontinued. Yes. Because <laughs> I've, se I've seen some without it, but That's this, is, they, this they, one they, still has everything. Oh, and then they, this one still has this little cover thing for the so sunroof. I think that's access to the sunroof. Yes, yeah. sunroof motor. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, you got the lights back here. See, this is the best way to experience a town car, I'm telling you. Yeah. I took it to... Uh... For Father's Day, we took it to Starved Rock. Uh huh. And it probably was the most comfortable car you could have taken. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So even back here, I mean, they were not ashamed of their star because the modern Lincolns, they they don't even put the star very often. I did have to super glue those shut. Uh, what the ashtray things? Yes. Oh, okay. Because they were the springs oh. broken. Uh, do you watch Anthony Guzzo's? Yes. Okay. Yep. He does that. <laughs> so yep. I watch it that's too. That's who I got it from. <laughs> yep. So, um, so I know that this this Lincoln uh -huh. car in the shape it's in, and I know what he sells them for. Uh huh. So, yep. So. Oh man. I mean, th this would be his special. This would be his. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't want to speculate on the price, but yeah, this yeah. this is not a four thousand dollar town car that you get from a, you know, from a trade in on the back of the lot, which is the stuff that I usually explore. And when I find them, they're usually in sorry shape. I mean, this is this is a lot more than that. So the factory phone's got this button. I'm assuming you press that button and it used to. Uh, oh, okay. So on. the 
the original voice voice controls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll just go down the street. Okay. Here. Yeah. A anything. I mean, yeah. it's it rides smooth. It's it rides like a new car. Trust me, it rides a lot better than uh, the Nissan Versa that I drove up in, <laughs> <laughs> and probably has a lot more pick up and go to. <laughs> But it's That's, all right. That is something I do find interesting. They don't have a lot of horsepower, but off the line, you feel a good amount of thrust, you know? Absolutely. It uh, feels like it has the power it needs. It's never going to win any race. Right. Uh, but what it's going to win is that at the end of the day, if you take a 100-mile road trip, you're going to be a lot more beat up in a more modern car than you will be in this one. I, now, I will, my, my regular car mm -hmm. is, uh, happens to be a um, pretty decent car. It's a 21 Lexus mm -hmm. and uh, it rides really really good as yeah. well but the the uh, I'm gonna turn around up here. okay yeah the uh, for, for being a 97 you know uh, this thing no it's amazing the back seats are also I mean I've sat I don't have anybody to drive me in my own town car yeah uh, my wife hates it uh, everybody <laughs> in the family kind of just my, you know. my wife hates this town car as do my children okay o originally i was gonna buy it for my daughter who <laughs> started driving in march no this is not a this is not a teenager's she car she didn't want it so, so i took it and i promised i promised the the owner uh -huh. that sold it to me because she basically gave it to me okay but i did pay her for it some something all know? right understood um but i promised her that um i would not sell it so no, you, it's a it. keeper. Yeah. See, for me, I'm I'm I have to have one car. I, I mean, I would love to have more than one car. Yeah. We live in a condo where only two cars per household, and, yeah. and I have to have a car. Uh, so right. I, I can't have more than one, uh, at least at this moment. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I drive my car. You know, it's a daily driver, and yeah. up until recently, when I got this new job where I have to travel, which now gives me more content for my yeah. channel with the rental cars. But I would like that car the way it is right now. I think it will last me probably two, about two more years until something like really major happens, or probably the frame just rusts right through, which yeah. I' not looking forward to. But it will happen. But I think I'll, I'll stick to some some version of town car, Cadillac, Buick. I mean, I love these yeah. things. And I, I, I love them for a yeah, long this, time. I think this car, if it's continue to be maintained, it'll last a long time. Well, for sure. Um, you know, uh, I, I enjoy it. Oh, yeah. absolutely. For the right owner, these are these are the cars to get. Especially, I mean, the rare few ones that are in this shape. Yeah. I mean, I also I'm sitting back here. The back seat is way more comfortable than on mine. I think the the, the cushion is probably more, way more stuffed than the on mine. Did mm -hmm. have an additional like one inch of padding. Ah, um, okay. I did not know that until after I got this and I read it. Okay, um, so that yeah. explains it. That was interesting. You are sitting on a couch. No cup holders back here, though. Yeah, so no cup this holders. This is this is the generation where cup holders weren't as. And, and even the cup holders in the front, my son and I joke around because they're so small. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure any any big gulps will fly right out. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, this is quite an experience. Yeah. I was pretty sure it'd be something that you'd like. You know? Oh, I really appreciate it. Look, meeting, so you're probably, I don't know, third, maybe fourth person who kind of, you know, through the channel reached yeah. out to me. I've, tr I've tried working with dealerships. I mean, I've reached out several of them. Nobody yeah. really needs me, so yeah. it's okay. But the people, the community has been really supportive and, and I, I appreciate it. Uh, if at any moment, uh, if you have a few extra minutes and I, I know in advance, I will bring my uh, town car over we'll do another one of these meetups you'll drive mine um and it'll be interesting to record with the comparison right somebody who has an older generation to uh to a newer ones yeah all right so everybody bill thank you so much once again uh everyone else watching i'm telling you these are amazing vehicles and anyone who appreciates these large sedans, I mean, this this is the one to get. Absolutely. All right, everybody. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.